Suppose phi from G2K is a group homomorphism and J is normal in K. We have to prove that the inverse image of J is normal in G. So if you've never seen the inverse image before, note that here, the inverse image of J, this is the set of all of the X's in G such that phi of x is in j. So it's all of the x's in g that get mapped to j. And we have to prove that this is a normal subgroup of g. So proof. So suppose we have little g in capital G and x in the inverse image of J. So if it's been a while since you've done anything with normal subgroups, let me write down what we need to show over here. We need to show that GX G inverse is in the inverse image of J. And that'll be enough to show that it is actually a normal subgroup of G. And we can expand on this. It might make things a little more clear. So what would this mean? This would mean that phi of g x g inverse is in j, right? That's what it means for g x g inverse to be in the inverse image of j. It means that phi of g x g inverse is in j. So since x is in the inverse image of j, we have, by definition, right, what does it mean to be in the inverse image? It's an x and g such that phi of x is in j. So if x is in the inverse image, we have phi of x in j. So now we just need to show that phi of gx g inverse is in j. If we do that, then it follows that gx G inverse is in the inverse image of J. So phi is a group homomorphism. So we can write this as phi of G times phi of X. And then phi of G inverse. And I didn't write it down, but we assumed, you know, that phi was a homomorphism and J was normal in K. So it turns out that this is in J. And this is because j is normal in k, phi of g is in k, and phi of x is in j. So that's why this element is in j. Thus, gx g inverse is in the inverse image of J. And so we've shown that the inverse image of J is a normal subgroup of G. So therefore, the inverse image of J is a normal subgroup of G. And it's not a long proof, but uh, I can't think of the word. I was going to say delicate, but you have to be careful and it just takes some practice working with, with the inverse image. I hope this helps.